Hi, my name is Daniel Yang, and in 1979, my family were refugees living in Thailand. We were resettled through a little church in the United States, and they walked alongside of us as we rebuilt our lives in a new country. And through that church, my dad became the first believer in our family ever to become a follower of Jesus, and that faith trickled down to me. My story is one of countless others where churches came alongside individuals and families to help them transition from their country of origin to the United States and to begin healing from the trauma of their life-threatening experiences. Through these churches, refugees and other forcibly displaced immigrants are encountering the love of Jesus. This is helping to change the trajectory of their lives, both on this side of heaven and for all eternity. I share my story to let you know what's possible when churches welcome those who were at first strangers, but in a very short period of time become neighbors and friends. Today we're witnessing one of the greatest humanitarian crises in our world history. Hundreds of millions of people have been forcibly displaced, fleeing their homes by violent conflict, climate change, and extreme poverty. They're desperately seeking refuge, including the tens of thousands of refugees resettled in the United States every year. In America, we now find ourselves in a unique moment in history. An unprecedented displacement crisis is bringing the nations to us. While it's easy to get lost in emotionally charged politics and issues like broken immigration systems, we believe this crisis needs to be viewed through a biblical lens. Jesus himself said, I was a stranger and you welcomed me. What seems like a political crisis is simultaneously one of our generation's greatest opportunities to show and share the love of Jesus through us, through you, his church. To respond, churches need to be equipped for three purposes. First, to welcome and resettle more displaced people in America, including in communities like yours. Second, to raise up a generation of local missional leaders with a global focus. Third, to encourage biblically informed conversations around refugees and forced immigration. And that's why we're launching Churches of Welcome. It's a national movement of churches, all with different backgrounds and histories, embarking on a discipleship journey and a missional opportunity to engage one of the greatest humanitarian crises of our time. We believe this is instrumental in healing and rebuilding the American church. The Bible shows us how God used the displacement of people for his greater purposes. Acts chapter 8 recounts how on the day Stephen was killed, a great persecution broke out against the church in Jerusalem, and all except the apostles were scattered throughout Judea and Samaria. Verse 4 says, Those who had been scattered preached the word wherever they went. People who were scattered from their countries by dire circumstances are arriving in our communities for the purposes of the gospel. And at this moment, it's the church that should be asking, God, what are you up to amid all of these people being scattered? And it's the church who is also part of the answer when our culture finds itself in crisis. Could what seems to be an apparent problem actually be God orchestrating something amazing for the sake of his kingdom? If so, how will your church respond? Join Churches of Welcome as we answer Jesus' call in taking the discipleship journey of welcoming the stranger to become our good neighbor and friend.